Hello Scorpio, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-September 2023 and I'm losing my voice guys, do forgive me. Too many readings today. Um, Scorpio, I feel as if you're sort of about to lose it. I sat down at this table feeling really sort of as if I wanted to shout at someone and I have had a really lovely relaxed morning so I don't know what's going on with the energy. It may be that you feel, Scorpio, that somebody is playing stupid when actually they know what's going on or they know how you feel. They're pretending everything's fine. Yeah, no, what are you talking about, Scorpio? Mm, no, I don't think there's, there's any problem here. You want to get something off your chest. You want to talk to someone. You want to have a serious conversation. They're playing dumb. Um, it could also be, Scorpio, that you may feel a bit pushed around in a situation somebody may be trying to control a situation with you it could even be a work dynamic i'm hearing competition you may feel that somebody is trying to win win an argument or win a situation or win you you somehow feel as if they're being manipulative emotionally manipulative you may find somebody is, I've got to say it guys, being a bit two-faced, very pleasant to you, butter wouldn't melt in their mouth, really sweet, and then daggers in the back, right? And you've had enough, you, you just want to out with this person, you want to out with this person. You want to sit down and have a straightforward conversation, what is the issue here, what is your problem and how can we fix it? But they're sort of irritating you instead. It's as if they are dropping innuendos or making comments that are sort of passive aggressive, but you're picking up on this. You're very intuitive, Scorpio. So guys, whatever this is, whatever this is, let's get into this. Okay, I'm hearing the term red rag to a bull. So you may feel this person is goading you, wanting you to get angry. Okay. Mm, I'm just feeling irritated. All right, my lovely Scorpios, let's see what's going on. This is, by the way, the uh, Legacy of the Divine, Chiro Marchetti. I love his decks. <laughs> it's an oldie, but a goodie. What have we got for my lovely Scorpios? Thank you, Michael. Can't speak, can't speak. You may be speechless, Scorpio. You may feel that this person is trying to undermine you, but is incredibly nice to your face, you know? Yeah, really irritating. So Archangel Michael, what have we got for my lovely Scorpios? You're going to lose it, Scorpio. You're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. You want to come out, so let's do that. Knight of Coins, you could be dealing with a younger Earth sign. Um, you could be wanting to communicate to somebody about money, maybe money that is owed to you. Let's have a look. So guys, Knight of Coins... Yeah, so maybe a younger earth sign or maybe somebody's been messing around. Maybe saying to you they don't owe you money when you know that they do. Could be financial. All right, oh my word, really. Ten of wands and the devil. Whew. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, guys, this is tough. This is tough. Now, either you're arguing with somebody about money or you feel burdened in a commitment that's become toxic, Scorpio. And I feel you really want to sit down and have a sort of out with it conversation with whoever this is. But they're pretending that everything's OK when actually it's not. And you're just annoyed. You're just annoyed. Nine of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, this person has been overindulgent. You may be wanting to call them out. Now, this could be someone that is living with you, that is spending your money. This could be someone who is putting too much on a credit card. And if you're a couple, you're having to pay the bill for them. Maybe you've had this situation before, Scorpio. I don't know why. I'm seeing somebody blowing bubbles. You know how you get those liquid 
like washing up liquid and you have a little ring and you blow the ring and a little bubble comes out. Kiddies play with it. You know, you can do streams of bubbles. I don't know whether, okay, I'm hearing hot air. I don't know whether or not you feel, Scorpio, this is somebody who just causes problems for the sake of causing problems. It's all hot air, right? It's just a load of rubbish. The Empress, okay. Scorpio, you're annoyed with this person. You somehow feel as if they want everything their own way, but they won't accept their faults. They won't accept that sometimes they're wrong. They won't accept that they need to change. Now, I could be dealing with a Scorpio masculine who is in a long-term relationship with a partner who is overspendy. They want everything to be top quality, designer this, designer that, and maybe, Scorpio, you're simply not earning the money, right? You're dealing with an empress who wants to be indulged. Or Scorpio, you could be sat in empress energy trying to manage someone who is sitting in overindulgent energy. And it's just frustrating you. Let's see what happens. Chariot in the past. Okay, Scorpio. I think actually you left this person in the past. You might have had enough and said, all right, that's it, I'm off. Queen of Swords. So Scorpio, this is you speaking your truth. This is you being very straight and quite blunt. You may have had questions for this person. I'm almost getting a sort of elusive, oh, well, do we have to talk about it now? Yeah, no, no. Uh, of course, I understand your point of view, but um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't think there's any reason why we have to go into this now. Somebody may have been avoiding having a conversation with you or made out as if you were making mountains out of molehills. No, Scorpio, you know what you know. You saw what you saw. Okay, that's interesting that came out. And this person just won't admit they were wrong. Dancing around the subject, a lot of hot air, right? This is somebody who has a complete fit. If you turn around and you say something to them that you know is right, but the reason they have a bit of a fit on you or they start shouting at you is because they feel guilty. But they're damned as if they're actually going to admit they did anything wrong. So this is now beginning to get on your nerves. This is turned cold. Whatever this is, it's turned cold. Ace of Cups. Scorpio, what you're thinking about is either this person met somebody else and they're about to leave you and they just won't talk about it. Or what you're thinking about is you're better off cutting your losses and just detaching from whoever this is. I'm just getting the energy of, I feel as if I'm being bled dry and this person won't take responsibility. Nothing is ever their fault, right? Yeah, no, you know their game, Scorpio the hermit, in the immediate future. So you could be thinking about a Virgo. Or Scorpio, I've got to admit, you may be pulling back. You may be pulling back and thinking about what you want to do in the future. And this could be near future. It could be the next few months. What do I actually want to do in the next few months about this? I don't think you two are communicating anymore. I think you're fed up, but you want to take some time to yourself before you make a really serious decision. Because I think the decision you want to make is, I should go. I should go. I should just leave. But I feel that the two of you have had some history. So what you're fearing with the Seven of Cups is continuing to sit in emotional confusion what actually really went on? What does this person really want from me? What is going on behind the scenes? How does this person feel underneath the surface? You may feel somebody's wearing a false mask, Scorpio. Again, I'm hearing the words passive aggressive. And I hope you guys know what that means. Many of you will. Somebody who says something to your face and smiles, 
but actually it may have a double meaning. You know, this is somebody who, you know, you're out, I don't know, in a bar having a few drinks and it may well be that you buy a second glass of wine and they look at you and they smile and say, oh, lovely, you're getting a second glass of wine. Mmm, you did that last week, didn't you? Yeah, no, your second glass of wine. But they smile at you while they're saying it, as in, I don't think you should be drinking a second glass of wine. I disapprove. I don't like the fact that you're doing that. But they smile as if they're fine with it. Don't pretend that everything's fine and smile to my face and I'm hearing bitch behind my back. Okay, sorry it came out. Sorry, guys. Ten of Cups. All right. Scorpio, to the outside world, this person is pretending that everything is wonderful. But when they're with their friends or family members or work colleagues, they may well talk about your personal problems behind your back. Yes, darling, I'll see you later on tonight. And then you may hear gossip that this person has been spreading all your private business all over the workplace or all over social media and you're annoyed. And you're annoyed. But this person is behaving as if nothing's a problem, right? Everything's fine. But then complain about you behind your back. Now, this is interesting, Scorpio. What you're hoping is to sit in the energy of the Seven of Swords. Ooh. I've got to be honest, guys. I think you are ready to get out of this. I think you have been strategizing as to how to detach from this person. Because you feel as if they're just play acting. You feel as if they're just playing nice because they don't want to accept any changes. Whereas you know full well that you feel isolated. You feel on your own. You don't feel as if this person has genuine feelings for you anymore. Six of coins. Okay, it's going to come to that, Scorpio. It's going to come to that. There could be a very serious conversation about money. Maybe, Scorpio, you've been giving this person money and they just want more and more and more. Maybe this person has a shopping addiction. It could be, Scorpio, that this is you talking to this person about equal give and take, you know. You could be weighed down with the work that you do and this person is expecting everything, right? They expect the world, but you may not be earning the money to keep up with this person's spending. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, what I see here is an empress who is overindulgent. I do. I do. And this is you in the future feeling left out in the cold while your person just wants to sit at home, right? Spend the day on the internet, buying a few things, going out and splashing out on, I don't know, really expensive food, going out to have lunch where they could have made lunch at home. Scorpio, I feel that you two are on the brink of a breakup. This person doesn't respect the fact that you may be earning the majority of the amount of money in the household. Even if you're dating Scorpio, I could be connecting with a masculine Scorpio who is simply dating, I'm sorry to say it guys, a princess. No, it's not good enough. I want the designer one. I want the expensive one. No, that one's a cheap one. Well, yeah, but they're not paying for it, are they? There's something here about arguments to do with money. You feel very stressed and you feel this is completely toxic, Scorpio. And I don't know, with the six of coins, I mean, this could be this person learning about equal give and take. It could be you guys heading for a divorce. It could be you saying to this person, well, that's fine. If you want designer this and designer that, go out and get a job, right? <laughs> You could, be, you could be putting your foot down. Now, maybe, Scorpio, that's what you want to talk about. And, of course, this person is trying to avoid that conversation because they don't really want to get a job, right? Hmm. Eight of Swords. Scorpio, you have no idea what to do with this person. You're in your head. Two of Wands. But you are seriously thinking about detaching. You know you have to make a choice. 
You know that you can't cope with this ongoing. You're exhausted. Nothing is ever good enough. And I feel this person really pushes your buttons, you know? They may do things or say things that just irritate you. And the thing is, they know that they are irritating you. They're doing it on purpose. Their energy, Queen of Cups. But they're all sweetness and loving and kind nature to other people, Scorpio. Hmm. King of Swords. If I'm dealing with a female Scorpio, Scorpio, you are sitting in a lot of abundance, but you feel a bit left out in the cold from your person who may be wearing a false mask and pretending everything is great, but it's not. If I'm dealing with a masculine Scorpio, Scorpio, your person could be a fellow Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, is coming across as so sweet-natured, really loving and giving and always there to help people, but behind the scenes, this is somebody who's overindulgent and passive-aggressive. This is somebody who doesn't think twice about bitching behind your back while saying to you, oh, darling, you know, there's no problem, everything is great. Well, yeah, you know, king of swords behind your back. Bit cutting. Underneath the deck, oh wow guys, Ten of Swords, okay. So Scorpio, if you feel it coming, it, it's going to get there, okay? You guys are going to detach. I think the Divine is trying to shift you in a new direction. Seven of Wands, you're fed up with all the defensive energy. I think Scorpio, whoever you are in the mix, you're going to pull back. You're going to put up your boundaries and you're going to say to this person, OK, that's it. I've had enough. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm hearing if you can't behave like a decent human being and a responsible adult, I'm done. Under that, guys, is the four of coins. You could be dealing with somebody who, again, doesn't think about what they're spending and you have to pick up the bill. And it's getting to the point where you just can't do this anymore. You, you have to speak your piece. Otherwise, this is just going to end up in a massive row. And you're going to end up saying to this person, it's done. I feel betrayed. I feel as if you don't respect me. I feel as if you don't appreciate what I bring to the table. And I can't cope with the histrionics anymore. Yeah. Wow, guys. Um, okay, let's get into this. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Nine of Cups and the Empress? Four of Coins. Okay. Now, Scorpio, if this is you, you're worried that your person is not respecting what you bring to the table in terms of finances. They could be sitting on your couch, right? Not really wanting to get a job because you're paying for everything. I could be dealing with a masculine Scorpio who's empress, mother of your child, wife, is very happily spending your money. They don't want to let you go because you're bringing home the bacon, um, but they may not want to get a job. What is the Four of Coins, Michael? Thank you. Ace of Wands. Did somebody have a fling? Did somebody have a one night stand? Strength card. Okay. This is very difficult. Scorpio, I think I'm dealing here with a female Scorpio who could be in a relationship with a masculine who either doesn't have a job or who is very happily sitting there kind of spending your money. You guys may be married. You could have been living together for a period of time. 
but the respect has gone. This person may have got used to you paying for things. Initially, you may have felt you wanted to go Dutch with everything, half and half, you know, you're a modern woman, that type of thing, you're earning money. Great, but this person has taken it to the limit. They may even have stepped out on you and had a fling and you've had to gather the strength to cope with that. But it's got to the point now where you don't want to be intimate with this person with a strength card. You're holding back from them. They're pretending everything's fine because, of course, they got a roof over their head. Life is good. You've been sweetness and light to this person. But they're being strategic, Scorpio. They're hanging on to you for the wrong reasons and you know it. What is on Scorpio's mind? Yeah, I think it's time I thought about ending the situation. I just want to go or I want this person to leave. What is Scorpio's energy? Page of Wands. Scorpio, you may have found this person passionately messaging other people over the internet or flirting with other people. You don't quite know what to do. You guys may have a child and it's a bit more complicated. What happened in the past with the chariot? The fall. Okay. Scorpio, there could have been a bit of a blow up in the past. It could have been about an Aries or a Cancerian or Scorpio, you may be with an Aries or a Cancerian. But I feel your person was foolish in the past and raced off towards somebody else. And you may have said to this person, if that ever happens again, I will leave you for good. There might have been an ultimatum. What happened in the past? You were very close, Scorpio, to just leaving this person in the past. The hangman. But you stuck with it. You let everything simmer down. There could have been issues with the Pisces. This person may even have been cheeky enough to ask you to see their point of view. Were they making excuses for why they had a fling? <laughs> okay. Scorpio, I think you turned into the Queen of Swords. Um, yeah. Yeah, Five of Wands, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you were angry. Angry, angry, angry. Because with the Seven of Coins, you were there busy working, right? Giving this person a really good life. So you could be a woman running a business with somebody sat on your couch who was codependent on you somehow. Maybe you've got a boyfriend who doesn't really work or work shifts or contract work or something. But whoever this is has got lazy. You've been working, earning money. And this person's just been taking full advantage of the fact that you're paying for the roof over their head. And they may even have been unfaithful. This is uh, a challenge. Yeah. Okay, so I think first of all, we've got the Page of Swords. So you spoke your truth, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. And then you sort of let things calm down with temperance. You could have connected to a Sagittarius. You could have Sag in your chart. You let whatever this was go. And I think you patched things up, but it created an irreparable crack in the foundation of this connection because the respect wasn't there. The trust wasn't there. And I don't think you guys have been intimate for a while. And that might have put added pressure on the relationship. What you're thinking about Scorpio is, I know I could find new love. I know that... I could be with somebody who appreciates me and would love me. You're considering leaving, Scorpio. You're considering leaving. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision as to whether or not you should leave. Sag energy again. Nine of swords. You're having sleepless nights. 
King of Wands. The problem is, Scorpio, there is an awful lot of physical attraction between the two of you. You adore this person. It may be a rather strange relationship. As in, sometimes you could feel as if you're their mum, you know? <laughs> um, this is somebody who may come across as needing your help. They could come across now and again as playing the victim. Oh, I'm sorry, Scorpio, but you know that I love you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scorpio. I'll, I'll try and get a job next week, you know? And then you feel sorry for them and then they stay. But then you may realise they might have been on social media, flirting with other women, and you're just <sighs> stressed out. You know, I can't live with this person. I don't want to leave this person. But it's getting to the point where I think you have to stand up for yourself. Because you feel left out in the cold. You feel a bit isolated from this person. And they're just sitting kind of in the lap of luxury, sort of paid for by you. Pretending as if nothing is a problem. And then they may go out with their mates and complain about you behind your back, you know? Oh, Scorpio is always telling me what to do. Scorpio is always giving me a hard time. Well, yeah, but you've got every right to. And this person shouldn't be spreading your personal business to all in sundry because they want a little bit of attention. But with the King of Wands, Scorpio, you're very attracted to this guy. That's the problem. It's as if you're worried that the minute you let them go, they're going to go off and find somebody else. So you've been hanging on to this, but you're not happy. You're not happy. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're not happy. But every time you try to talk to this person, you know, please don't do this because you hurt me. Or, or please can you sort of step up a little bit, bring a little bit of money into the household, there may be an argument. Well, you know that I'm trying, or you know that I can't do that, or you know that I'm feeling depressed a bit these days, so I don't really feel like getting a job. There's always a problem. There's always an issue. It's as if you have to mother them, and you're just a little bit sick of it. So... Archangel Michael, we've got the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. Do we have timing for Scorpio? Thank you, Michael. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm hearing the 13th and 14th of December. I can see two people going out shopping. Christmas present shopping. Scorpio, there may be a blow up in a couple of months, okay? Sometimes this message comes through now as a warning, you know, this might happen, Scorpio, so sort of heads up. It may well be that there's an issue with buying Christmas presents. You may be feeling as if you're buying all the Christmas presents for both of you, for different people in your life, and this person doesn't have the money or is very happy for you to pay for everything. Okay, I'm now hearing the 9th of November. So 9th of November to the 14th of December, Scorpio, is going to be difficult. I have a feeling that you are going to ride through the rest of this year and then in January you're going to make a firm decision and it may well be that you end it. It may be you don't want to end it just before Christmas, you know. So my lovely Scorpios, you're sat in the hermit energy, you're feeling left out in the cold, you don't know what to do, you're feeling a bit isolated. This person is kind of Relaxing by the fire, sitting in the lap of luxury, pretending as if everything is great. So what is the energy of your person, Scorpio? Fourth wands. Yeah, they're happy as Larry. they got a roof over their head. You're probably paying the rent or the mortgage. What is this person's energy? Wow. The lovers. They may be being unfaithful to you, Scorpio. What is their energy? Mm, lovers and the moon. They may be hiding the fact that they're having a fling with a Cancerian or a Gemini, or they could be a Cancerian or a Gemini. 
This is someone who's hiding the fact that they've taken a lover, Scorpio. Four of Cups. They're not really interested in this relationship anymore. They may be acting a bit bored with life. So they're happily juggling you with somebody else, trying to keep that on the DL, whilst you're feeling left out in the cold and basically paying for everything. Two of Swords. They're blocking you from finding out the truth about the other person. They don't want you to find out. Because they're in a really nice, stable place with you. They want to keep everything balanced. And so they're hiding from you the fact that they are having a relationship with someone else. Who is this other person, Michael? Could be a Virgo... Taurus or Capricorn female. Knight of Wands, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So they are having a fling with a Cancer, a Gemini, or a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn with a Knight of Wands. But with the Moon and the Two of Swords, they are trying to hide that from you. They're being very strategic. I think this is you, Queen of Cups. King of Swords is strategy. They're being very strategic. Every time they think that you're going to sort of turf them out of the house or let them go, they may play victim or they may kick up a massive fuss or cause a huge row. And because you don't want drama, you just leave it. But I don't think you're going to do this anymore. I think you are ready to let this person go. So your energy is the hermit, Scorps, okay? Yeah, six of wands. So you could be doing very well in a business, very successful. People are looking up at you. You could be putting in a lot of time in an office job. You could be running your own show. You're highly successful. What is Scorpio's energy? Yeah, wow. High Priestess, you're also incredibly intuitive. You may be connecting with people all over the world, Scorpio, in the job that you do. You could be doing a lot of travelling in terms of the work that you do, on and off planes or trains or in your car. But I think you're ready to end this. I think you feel this person is just hanging on to you for their own selfish reasons. And I think you're ready to let it go. Four of Swords. I think you're feeling pretty tired a bit depressed. You may have been trying to seek spiritual guidance. You know, what do I do about this connection? How is Scorpio feeling? You're tired. Beautiful Scorpios, nine of wands. You sort of had it with this person. It's as if you've been carrying the both of you for such a long time. You've got used to it. But now they're beginning to play the victim. Now they are hiding the fact that they are possibly sleeping with somebody else. And they're becoming more and more, I'm getting the word petulant, a bit like a child. That you just can't do this anymore. What is Scorpio going to do? Thank you, Michael. Page of coins. Okay. Scorpio, you're going to have a really straight conversation with this person. What you're going to say to them is, look, I think you know that this hasn't been working for the longest time. If you're worried about money, I can give you a small amount of money. But I have to say that I've got to the point where I want you to move out. So Scorpio, this person may have moved in with you. And this is you realising that was a bad idea. You may be saying to this person, Scorpio, look, you know, if you need a little bit of money to find another place to live, a deposit for a flat, you know, I can help you with that page of coins. But I think you're going to say, look, I'm happy to be friends with you, but this is not the relationship that I hoped for. Yeah. Ace of Swords. So Scorpio, this is the conversation that they don't want to have. They may know it's coming. They may avoid it at all costs, but it's coming. And what you're going to say is, I'm sorry, but we're done. What is the energy between these two, Michael? 
Three of Wands. I've got to be honest, Scorps, they are thinking about someone else at a distance and you can't wait to leave or you can't wait for them to move out, whatever your situation is. Both of you are looking to the future and wanting to embrace change. But I think they have been staying with you because somehow you have given them the love and affection that they needed or you've helped them financially or simply the chemistry between the two of you was crazy strong, right? And you couldn't bear to let them go. They couldn't bear to let you go. But this cycle is coming to its natural end. You can't do this anymore. I mean, looking at the overall energy sculpts again, right? The devil. I mean, you're dealing with a toxic situation or a toxic person. Ten of wands, you're exhausted. You're working your butt off. Knight of coins. You're always bringing home the money. They never help. Ten of swords. You feel betrayed by this person because they probably cheated on you. Wheel of Fortune, the Divine is saying, push yourself into a new cycle and put up your boundaries, right? Yeah. So, mm. right, guys, let's get into this and see where this is going to end, okay? But we got the Six of Coins, which is you, I think, giving this person a last handout, but it's a last handout to leave, so if this person says, I can't leave, I've got nowhere to live, this is you thinking, okay, well, I'm going to give them the money for a month's rent on an apartment or something or a deposit on an apartment and they can sort themselves out. They can sort themselves out. You're fed up of carrying this situation, this person. So what is going to happen here for my lovely Scorpios? Three of coins. So, Scorps, you may call this person out and say, look, you know, I know you've been trying to hide it, but I know that you have been entertaining somebody else. Ten of pentacles. I think, to be honest, you've been staying with me because I've been financially stable for you. Mm. Five of swords. But I just can't do this anymore. It's as if... You use me for my abundance and just head off when you want to head off and have a little bit of fun with somebody else and then come back to me. And I, I don't want to live like that anymore. What is Scorpio saying? Six of Swords, you just want to get this person out of your life and you want to move to calmer waters. What is this person saying? Page of Cups, okay. Brace yourself, Scorpio. They're going to come out with excuses or you know that I love you. You know that you're the only person in my life that I love. I'm so sorry. It's, it's all going to come out. What is this person doing? Magician, they're trying to be strategic. They're trying to manifest you, allowing them to stay. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. What are they trying to manifest? Okay, they don't have any money, Scorpio. So they're trying to manifest you, allowing them to keep living with you because they can't make it on their own. They haven't got any money. They haven't got any money. You might have been paying for everything. What is Scorpio saying to this person? The sun. You may say to this person, Scorpio that you're going away on a trip and that when you come back, you want them out of the apartment or out of the house. You may say to this person, Scorpio, that you're going for a job in another area of the world. And so, sorry, but I'm not going to be in this area anymore. Uh, we're not going to see each other. So we may as well end it. Eight of coins, yeah. Scorpio, you may say to this person that you're leaving the area for a job in, an, in another place that's quite far away. It may be an excuse. It may be that you're actually doing that. It may be you're going to accept a promotion or a transfer to another branch where you're going to be earning more money. But whatever this is, you're ending it. Eight of Wands. All right. 
Scorpio, you have to brace yourself because this person isn't going to be happy. They're going to be arguing with you. They're going to be arguing with you. Star, because they want to heal the situation. What are they going to say to Scorpio? I love you. Um, I've got to be honest. I don't feel that. Because if they really loved you, why would they feel the need to mess around with a third party? I'm sorry, they're not telling you the truth. How are they feeling? Yeah, three of cups. They just want to get their feet back under the table with you, Scorpio, so that they're nice and stable and secure. And then they're going to carry on with the third party. And I think you know it. So for you... Um, this is ultimatum time. Okay, guys. And I know this is rough. Um, somebody commented and said, oh, all the readings are sort of quite dramatic. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, as readers, we pick up on really serious issues in terms of emotion. Because the divine wants everyone to be happy, right? So these are quite dramatic situations I'm picking up on for people. But anyway... Guys, you are going to be absolutely fine. I'm connecting with a very successful, mature Scorpio female who has been doing her best to cope with a masculine who may be younger than you, Scorpio, or he may have trouble holding down a job. It could be he's got bad credit, but his money's not good. And I think out of the kindness of your heart and because there's this very strong chemistry between the two of you, You've just kept this relationship going, but now it's as if they've lost total respect for you. They're overspending your money. They're cheating on you with somebody else. They're possibly complaining about you to their friends and people that will listen. And this is someone who you feel is never going to change. If anything, they're going to get worse. And I think you're stopping this before it gets to the point where you're either penniless or you find this person in your house with somebody else. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Moving into divinely guided messages of love. I'm going to wrap this up quickly because it's been a long reading. What does this person want to say? Yeah. Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. This is someone sad and ego. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. No, no. I think they are in a relationship secretly with someone else. Guys, holding back, I should have expressed myself better. They now feel it's too late because you're putting your foot down. Third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. Yeah, he was messing around with somebody else. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Mm -hmm. Clarity of what they're losing. So Scorpio, for some of you, you two have already separated. Or maybe you travel a lot for work. Final message from this person to Scorpio. I miss our inside jokes. I think this person knows that they're on the way out. I think they know that this can't be patched up. And I think, Scorpio, this time you're not going to try and fix things between the two of you. I think I think you're going to say to this person that you two have shared good memories, but things have gone downhill. You can't manage your work life and sort of cope with them anymore in the nicest sense. And if they do potentially want to be with somebody else, you're very happy to let them go. It may be a shock if you actually come out with that because they may feel they've hidden another person from you. Um, very successfully. But yeah, you're going to speak your truth. So my beautiful Scorpios, if I have time, I'll do a bonus. Forgive me if I don't have time. I do a lot of readings. <laughs> but take care of you, sending love and light your way. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye now.